Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very good. I had a, a very busy day. Mm -hmm. I feel tired now. Okay, so this hour is gonna go fast, okay? We're gonna try to concentrate on the things that we have to do, okay? And okay. Mauricio, Xavier, Luis, Marilyn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, very good, very good. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. teacher. Good evening. Very good. Okay, uh, I'm going to start because uh, I want you to uh, to finish the section number two, even though I know that uh, the platform has been having problems, okay? So what you have to do is keep trying to get in, okay, on the platform. Because eventually, Eventually, it's going to be okay. Okay. Okay? So let me just get rid of this because uh, we are going to practice the exercises that we didn't do. Okay? And explain what was unexplained in the last class. Okay? Okay. Okay, so let me get rid of this real quick, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna leave that. So now, this is what we were working with yesterday. So we're gonna go quick, less and fewer. In Spanish, we use the same thing, menos y menos. But in English, it's menos y más pocos, okay? So okay. you use fewer when describing plural or countable nouns. So look, you, when describing plural or countable nouns, we use fewer, okay? Fewer. Fewer, fewer. Can you see the example right here? Fewer than 10 people. So we're talking about a countable plural noun. So that's why we use fewer. I want fewer gifts. So you see gifts is plural. So I have to use few. Puppies. Puppies is plural. So I have to use fewer. Fewer. Okay? In this sentence above, the word fewer describes a plural or countable noun. Countable nouns are the things that you can count, such as you can count people, you can count gifts, you can count puppies. For these nouns, you will use fewer. fewer. Okay, some examples. There are fewer people. people yeah. You should buy fewer gifts. There were fewer plates. I saw fewer cars. You oh. see, all these are plural plural uh, countable nouns and therefore therefore means y por eso i have to use fewer fewer okay countable plural nouns if you teacher, can teacher, yes? i'm sorry teacher and people is is accountable accountable or non accountable people can, wait yes. can you count people no Yes. Yes. One, two, three, yes. four, five. Really? Yes. Okay, so it's okay. countable. In okay. English, we consider countable because you can count them. Now, the singular form of people is person. One person. What happened? 
what happened when there when there are a lot of people when there are a lot of people and you can't account them? Nah, well, account them. yeah, but there are a lot of people. But if you eliminate one by one, they will be countable. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now, with the time, be careful with the time. When we talk about the quantifiers of time, such as seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, you got to be careful. Things. Fewer will rarely be used with time. However, sin embargo, there are times when it is used for a countable chunk or general reference of time, such as it will be nice to spend fewer minutes cleaning and more reading. Now, here is talking about countable noun minutes. So that's why I use fewer. Fewer hours. Can you count the hours? So fewer yes, yeah. hours working and more yeah. having fun sounds right. great. So in that case, I use fewer. Now, fewer with percentages. If the percentage is of a countable noun, such as people, yes. then I have to use fewer. Because this percentage is talking about a countable noun. Okay? Countable. Now, can you see here? It's okay. There are fewer than 7%. Hay menos del 7% de personas. So in this case, the percentage mm -hmm. refers to a countable noun. I use fewer. Fewer than 10% of the bean are peaches. So peaches is a plural count noun, and because this percentage refers to the peaches, which is countable, I have to use fewer. Now, of course, in Spanish, what does it mean, bean, teacher? A bean is like a, el, el cultivo, el sembrado. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So here, mm. since people yeah. in peaches are countable, I use fewer. Ahora, fíjense bien. Teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can get in in the platform right now. It's working. Yeah, I know. So you can get in. So try it. Hey, right now that is working, try to get in and do it. Okay? You can Very do good. it Thank right you. now. Okay, now. The next one, less, we don't count. Ah, now look what I wanted to say. I'm gonna say this in Spanish because I don't want to confuse you. Fewer means más poco. Few means pocos. And fewer, más pocos. Ahora, en español, nosotros no usamos más pocos. Nosotros, para contables, Y para incontables usamos menos. Menos carros tienen frenos ahora. Menos, eh, menos libros traen eh, completa la jornada. Okay, even though you use it with countable, we use the same menos. But in English, there is a difference. Okay, and that is fewer for countable nouns. And if the percentage is talking about countable nouns, you have to use fewer, okay? Very good. Now, less is used with uncountable nouns. When it comes to using less, think about nouns you can count. For example, coffee, sugar, are considered uncountable nouns. So you will use less. Examples, you should add less sugar. Uncountable, I use less. I need to drink less coffee. Uncountable, I use less. 
There is less milk in my glass. Milk, uncountable, I use less. You should add less oil. Oil is uncountable, I use less. Is that clear? Okay, very good. It's now, good. when you can count the noun, you'll add the word less. Using less for time and money. And now, you got to be careful here. Okay? Time and money can get a bit confusing. That is because even though you are describing the plural years, you are talking about a singular chunk. Okay? Okay, now I'm going to say this in Spanish because I, we don't have too much time. No tenemos mucho tiempo y quiero ser claro. Cuando yo me refiero a la porción del tiempo, no a los años cada año, entonces voy a usar less. ¿Ok? Cuando me refiero a la porción, no a la cantidad de años, sino que a la porción, al a la cantidad de tiempo. For example, she completed her internship in less than a year. In less than three years. Yes, this is countable. But we are talking about a portion of time. And that portion is one chunk of time. So I use less. In less than four I years. In menos de cuatro años, so I'm not talking about every single year. I'm talking about the portion, the chunk. So I use okay. less. She made less than $10. So I'm talking about the portion. That's why you use less, not the dollars itself. Okay? The tip was less than $5. The same thing, I'm talking about the portion. And when you talk about weight, always use uh, less. My dog weighs less than 90 pounds. I will need less than four gallons of water. That was less than five meters in length. So when we talk about any uh, measurements, let's use less. Cuando tenemos medidas de cualquier índole, de longitud, de capacidad, de peso, we are going to use less. less. Now, less. percentages. Ah, now, can you see here? You drank less than 5% of your milk. What is the noun? What is the noun of the percentage? Uncountable. So I use less. Less. You use less than 10% of the water. Ah, water is uncountable. Even though it's a percentage, I'm going to use less. less. Why? Because the noun of the percentage is uncountable. I watch you eat less than 5% of that meat. So the percent, the noun of the percentage is meat, uncountable. That's what I use less okay okay very good let's go to the exercises okay now i want you to do these exercises please okay what about number one reinaldo number one what it has less calories than meal has no okay. now calories mm -hmm. Is singular or plural, Reinaldo? Oh, uh, it's plural. Plural, so it is countable. So I have to use fewer. Fewer, fewer. because it's countable and it's plural. It's countable. Yes, calorie, la calorías. One calorie, two calories, three calories. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, the next one. The doctor advised the kid to eat Xavier, Xavier, the fewer. doctor advised the kid to eat fewer, fewer sweets. sweets. Can you see? That is... Because we are talking about the sweets, not the soda or something else. No, no, we're not talking about the soda. We're talking about the sweets, los dulces, okay? Yeah. The candies. Okay, very good. 
Now, the next one, Luis. There are fewer cars on the roads in the small town. Exactly. There are fewer cars on the road. And cars is countable. So that's we, why we use fewer. Okay, Josue, the next one, number four. He did fewer exercise than he should have done. Uh-huh, fewer exercises than he should have done. Perfect. Okay, uh, Carla Chavez. She has much less patience than her husband. Than her husband, that is correct. Why? Because patience is, is a known count no now. No okay, count. very good. Mauricio. I have less money to spend on buying clothes than my sister has. Okay, I have less money to spend. Why less? Because money is uncountable. uncountable. Okay, very good. Juan. Why, 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 why money is uncountable? Uh huh, because what you can count is the coins. Lo que puedes ah, okay. contar son las monedas, son los billetes. Pero el dinero es considerado uncountable. uncountable. Okay, okay. okay? Very good, very good. Okay, so Juan, number seven. Number seven, and he wants to make business trip. Aha. Uh -huh. Fewer or less? Less. Less, um, less business. Okay, now we're talking about Fewer. business trips. Fewer. Uh, viajes, oh, yeah. viajes Fewer. de negocio. Fewer. Yeah. It's fewer. Fewer it's business trip. trip. That is correct. Very good. I agree. Okay, now the next one. She has a Ronald. She has fewer. No, no time. Less time. Can you less, count? less time. Uh -huh. less, time. less time, correct. Okay, because time is uncountable. Very yeah. good. Next, Reyes de Jesus. The students. The students have. Less. Okay, now can you count days? Ah, yes. Fewer. Yes. Aha, exactly. Fewer yes. days. They to finish the project. To finish the project. That is correct. Very good. Now choose the correct response. Okay. Now there are. Uh, let me see here. Ah, sorry. This should be like this. There are. Uh, who is going to be next? Let me see. Carlos Marroquín. Yeah. There, there are, are fewer or there are less? There are fewer. No, there are less people here than in the center of the city. Are you sure? Now, people. Can you count people? Yes, yes you can. Yes, I count okay, people. so it's countable. So what do yeah. you need to use? There are fewer, fewer. people. There are fewer people. And look at the example right here. Yes. You remember? Okay. Yes, there are fewer people here. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, so we are in number two. Ah, uh, okay. Number two. So there are fewer people here than in the center of the city. Number two. Let me see. Adriana, number two. I make less money than he does. Very good. I make less money than he does. Excellent. Veronica, I'm tired.
I need to ask for less responsibility. Now, can you count the responsibilities? Yes. I have this responsibility and this responsibility. Yes. I I need to ask for fewer responsibilities. responsibilities. That is correct. Very good. Number four, Xavier. He traveled fewer than he used to. Okay, but these are not travel. Esto no son viajes. El viaja. 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 Sí. Okay. He traveled okay. less than he used uh -huh. to. He traveled less. Than he used to. Okay, very good. Number five. Let's see. Bloody. Five. Number five. We are right here. Five. <clears throat> they know less than they pretend to know. Very good. They know less than they pretend to know. To know. Nuria. Very good. Number six. Fewer children are studying French these days. Uh -huh. Fewer children are studying French these days. Excellent. Okay, Marilyn, can you participate, Marilyn? I don't remember if you call me. Okay, never mind. Sorry, sorry, I okay. am driving. Yeah, I know, tell me, tell me Hernandez, number seven. Seven, you should eat less meat. Exactly, because meat is uncountable, I have to use less. Very good. Nidia, the next one. There are fewer. There, uh -huh. Okay, go ahead, Kike. Ah, Nidia, Nidia. Wait, wait, Nidia. Number eight, there are? Fewer. There are fewer, fewer. homeless fewer. people. Gente sin hogar, gente sin casa. Okay, there are fewer homeless people. Very good, Kike. Number... Mm. Nine. Number, number nine. Number nine. Uh, he, uh, he has less furniture than I do. Uh -huh. Remember that furniture is considered non-count. No so he is correct. As, he has less yeah. furniture than I do. Very mm -hmm. good. And the last one. Volunteer. I'm there, are fewer Me. there are fewer good teachers. Yeah. Less. Uh -huh. there, are there are less good. Fewer. No, no less, less. because good teachers it's a is con. plural, right? So no, there, are there are fewer, fewer good, good teachers good teacher this day. these days. Okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that clear now? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, so with this, yes. uh, you can go to section number two. We have one topic, and this is the new topic. That is the information that I send you today, okay? It is related to the indirect question, how to make indirect question. Now, first of all, I want to ask you something. In Spanish, in Spanish, what sounds, do you know what is polite? Yes. Amable. Amable Cortés. So in Cortés. Spanish, what sounds more polite? ¿Qué hora es? O me puede decir qué hora es? Se puede decir qué hora es. Ajá. The second one is more polite. Okay. So in English, it's the same thing. Okay. There are ways to say more polite questions. And that's why we use indirect questions. Okay. Direct questions are the normal questions that we ask friends, family members, and people who we know well. You can form direct questions using the model that we learned last lesson. Example, 
where is the bathroom? So that is the normal direct question. Now, indirect questions are a little more formal and polite. We use them when talking to a person we don't know very well or in professional situations. And their form is a little different from the direct questions. Example, could you tell me where the bathroom is? So what is different between where's the bathroom and could you tell me where the bathroom is? When you use cool, it's more polite. It's big difference. Yes, but can you see that I use to be. the auxiliary is? I In a direct question, I use it before the subject. And in the indirect question, I use it after the subject. Okay. Teacher, but I'm sorry, I, I, we didn't see your PowerPoint or your information. Yeah, because I send this to the WhatsApp. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I send this to the WhatsApp group so you could print it. So it's in the WhatsApp group. Look for it. Okay? Yeah. This document. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, definitely to make an indirect question, we need an introductory expression. For example, could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering, do you have any idea? I like to know. Will it be possible? Is there any chance? Questions about these expressions? So me, clear. Me podría decir, usted sabe, yo me preguntaba, eh, ¿tiene alguna idea? Sí, me gustaría saber. Sería posible. Hay alguna oportunidad, right? Okay, so all these expressions introduce indirect questions. Now, let's take a look. Where is the market street? That is the direct question. Look at the indirect question. So I move the is after the subject. Could you tell me where the market street is? Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now, okay. in indirect questions, is, are, was, or where comes after the subject. What time? Okay, that is when, when we have the verb to be. Okay, so we move the verb to be in the present or in the past after the subject. In the direct questions, they are before the subject. Before. And in the indirect questions, they come after the subject. After. Okay? Okay. But we also have like the simple present and the simple past. So now we're going to see in the simple present, we have two auxiliaries. Do and does. Do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, and it. Correct? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, look, when we are doing questions with do and does, we are going to eliminate the do and the does. When it's only do, the verb will remain the same. Cuando solo es do, El verbo se mantendrá igual. But when it's does, we are going to remove the does, but the verb is going to suffer an inflection, an S or an ES. Is that clear? So okay. we use do or does, because this is the simple present, we are going mm -hmm. to remove the do or does. In the case of do, the verb, the main verb will remain the same. 
But when we remove das, we have to write the S or the ES to the member. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in indirect question, we don't use the auxiliary verbs do, does, and did. Also, you can see that the verb is open in indirect question and opens in the indirect question. Why? Because we remove does. Okay. okay. Now, in the simple past, in the simple past, why did you move to Europe? Can you see that because the question has the auxiliary did, the main verb is on its base form. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, yes. we are going to remove the did, which is telling us that we are in the past. Mm -hmm. So if we remove the did, we have to write the past tense on the main verb. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it will tell us that we are in the past. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Cristalino. So, okay. So, Don't so worry so. that we are going to practice. Again, there is no auxiliary verb did in the indirect question. In fact, this indirect question isn't even a question. It's more a statement that invites the other person to give more information. Okay. Ah, and something else. Bye. Voy a explicar esto en español porque quiero que quede claro. Ok, usted puede ver que cuando yo digo, could you tell me, esta expresión es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Do you know? Es una pregunta. Sí. Yeah. I was wondering, no es una pregunta. Es una no. oración. Do you have any idea? Es una pregunta. I like to know, uh -huh. no es una pregunta, es una, sí, una oración. Will it be possible? Es una pregunta. pregunta. Is mm -hmm. there any chance? Es una pregunta. Okay. So now, you have seen that when I use could you tell me, termino con question mark. Porque mm -hmm. estoy usando una expresión que es una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Es una pregunta. Termino con question mark. Pero mm -hmm. ahora, I was wondering, no es una pregunta. Mire cómo termino. Aunque es una pregunta, la voy a terminar con punto. Sir, what, what, is the, what is the difference in, in, in wool or cool? Wool. Wool hace todos los verbos ia. En could es podría. Podría. Okay, okay. Would you give me? Podría darme. And when you say, would you give me? Me daría. Mm -hmm. O debería o no 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 es no. condicional ia hace okay, todos yeah. los verbos ia will you will you drive manejarías oh will you should, drink? should is is the is the other should surely is a uh, debería debería, debería oh, de consejo okay, okay. como una recomendación the sí, recommendation yes. or advice. 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 Okay. Advice. Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now. Okay. How? Ah, ese ya no. Mm -mm. Bien, nos vamos a venir aquí. How much does this motorcycle cost? So, I like to know. Y mire, comienza con una oración. No es pregunta. I like to know. Y voy, todo lo voy a poner igual. I'm going to put everything the same except the dust. I'm going to remove the dust. Teacher, una pregunta. Okay. Yes, sir. Este, usted está escribiendo esas oraciones en la pantalla. No, ya están, uh -huh. ya están ahí los ejemplos. Ah, pero nosotros eh, no las vemos. Could, could you show the, the, the presentation? <laughs> oh, my God. Hasta ahorita me están diciendo. I'm sorry. Vaya. I see the, the document <laughs> in the WhatsApp, but uh -huh. I don't see the... Okay, pero lo están leyendo. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Ah, okay. Ya no voy a repetir hasta todo hasta esto. Hasta ahorita, porque... Lo siento. Hey, bueno. you should have told me before. Vaya, está bien. Es la vergüenza que tenemos, teacher. La vergüenza tengo yo de que... De que no me acordé. Okay, so, okay. 
Bueno, esto pasa hasta las mejores familias. No, pero no Yo importa, pensé que nos puede... estaba, no estaba probando. No, que razón, nos estaba vacilando. Con razón, yo, pensé que... digo, yo creo que Nuria, y este documento, y yo en ese momento no, no me puse a pensar, hey, no tengo la pantalla. Yo dije, sí, pero... que, y que no está viendo la pantalla, pues. Dije. Para ver si estamos books, dije. <ríe> Okay, aquí. Yo, la, yo, la que repite, que yo que repite, yo que repite, no importa, okay. teacher, puedes todo, para que repetirlo todo. Pero voy a repetir hasta aquí, va. Ok, ok. Estas son. Hambre, teacher, desde el inicio. <risa> desde aquí, va. Mire, estas son las expresiones. These are the expressions that introduce. Son, son las últimas questions. expresiones. Ajá. Ok. That introduce the indirect question. For example, here, the question is, where is Market Street? Would you tell me where Market Street is? So the is in the direct question is before the subject. But when I make the indirect question, the uh -huh. is is after the subject. Teacher, yes. Uh, question. Yes, sir. Why is, why is the is at the end, at the end. Ah, eso no me puede, eso no le puedo decir. Es simplemente una regla, ¿ok? Ah, Nosotros en español decimos, hey, ¿dónde está el orden baño? Orden gramatical en inglés. Sí, es, es una estructura, sí es la estructura gramatical. No puede ir en ninguna otra parte. No puede ir, ah, la, después, la, del la, sujeto, la, sí. después del sujeto. Después del sujeto. Y aquí dice la explicación, mire, aquí está, ve. In indirect questions, with is, uh, are, o puede ser en pasado, was, where, the verb is, are, was, where, comes after the subject. After the subject. After the subject. Okay, so. When, when you use a cool or conditional, you can use a double question, no. Yes. So podría usar a cool con where, no. Yeah. Could you tell me? Yeah, because we are could you, okay, bye. Okay, very good. I'm going to write it right here. Where were you were you in Apulo last night? Okay, so that is the direct question. So now, indirect question, could you tell me, could you tell me if, if you were, you if were you in, in, Apulo. In, Apulo. in Apulo last night? Last night. Okay, okay. 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 So, yeah, no uh -huh. problem. Okay, uh -huh. now because uh -huh. I begin with a question with an expression that is a question, I have to end up with a question mark. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, fíjese bien. Cuando yo introduzco la expresión, la, la pregunta indirecta con una expresión que es una pregunta como en estos casos, do you have any idea? Do you know? Could you tell me? Ellos son una pregunta. Will it be possible? Is there any chance? Yo voy a terminar la pregunta con question mark. Pero cuando comience con un, a introducirla con una oración como esta, I was wondering, I like to know. Estas no son preguntas. Son expresiones que me ayudan a introducir mi pregunta. En este caso, voy a cerrar con punto, porque no comienzo con una pregunta. ¿Está claro? Sí. Okay. Ya lo vamos yes, a ver más are... tarde. Ok. Eh, vaya, ahora, eso es con el verbo, that is with the verb is, are, was, where. You remove the is, are, was, where after the subject, after the subject. Now, when we have questions with do and does, you remove the do and does. In the case of do, only remove do. In the case of does, after removing the does, 
you have to put an S or ES on the main verb. Can you see it? Yes. Mm. You remove the dust, <sighs> but you put an S. Okay, remember that dust is the third form, okay. is the third person, third person she, he, she, he, of do. He, she, uh -huh. So when you talk about he, she, or it, the verb yeah. has to be in affirmative with an S. So mm -hmm. if we don't have the dust, we mm -hmm. have to put the S on the main verb. Mm -hmm. Is that clear now? Always. Always when you use does is indirect or direct. When you use do is uh, indirect. No, 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 no. When you use do and does is direct. When you use do and does is direct. For example, I have one right here. Don't worry. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh, here. I have one right here. Do they speak English? I was wondering if they, I removed the do. But you see in this case, because it's they, we don't add S because it's do. We add S only when it's does. Only when it's does, we put an S on the verb. When it's do, we only remove the do. Solo quitamos el do. Cuando es das, quitamos el das. Y le ponemos, y la... Eh, ajá, le ponemos la inflexión al verbo principal. En el verbo principal. Okay. Because it's the, it's the third person singular. Because it's the third person singular. Como ya me queda como una eh, oración afirmativa, entonces la tengo que aplicar lo que dice la regla en oraciones afirmativas. Okay. I watch, you watch, but she watches. He watches. I open. You open. But he opens. Entonces tengo que agregarle la inflexión al verbo. Yes. ¿Ok? It's ok. Yes. But ok. So in indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary verbs. Do, does, did. Also, you can see that the verb is open in the direct question and opens in the indirect question. That is because we remove does. If we only, if, if the question had been with open, with do, we don't put anything on the verb because is do. But when it's okay. does, because it's he, she, or it, we have to put the inflection. Yes. That is the yes or e. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, now in the car and okay. In the case, the same thing, the same thing, y esto lo voy a decir en español. Fíjense bien, lo mismo pasa cuando yo hablo en pasado. En pregunta, tengo el auxiliar did, que ya está en pasado. Y como ya está en pasado, el verbo principal va en su forma base. 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 Ahora, como me dice aquí que remueva el did, ok, yo lo remuevo. Pero ¿cómo hago para saber que estoy en pasado? Ah, entonces le tengo que poner birds, el pasado al verbo. Past tense. Exactly. So I have to add the past tense to the main verb. Because I don't have the auxiliary anymore. And the auxiliary was showing me that I was in the past. ¿Is that clear? Teacher. Yes, ¿Me entendemos yes. más en español, teacher? ¿Ah? <laughs> ¿Me entendemos más en español? Que en I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, let's see more examples. Okay. Sí, le agarramos la idea rápido. Pero lo okay. que no entiendo es cómo, si usted ve una oración, cómo va a saber que es indirecta o directa. ¿Cómo ah, hey, okay, you can see. Look at direct question. Look at direct question. How much does, it, does this motorcycle cost? And look, I like to know. You see? Direct, direct, uh, yes, uh, no. direct. Why don't you go to the beginning when you explain the type of indirect questions? When I explain what? Here, yeah, phrases for indirect questions. Places. 
phrases, yeah. Okay, maybe, now, maybe indirect question you use it for to be more formal oh, and polite. Oh, That's all. Okay, now you convert a direct question in a more polite way to ask something. That's all. Okay, now you use this expression to introduce the indirect question. Mm -hmm. But you have to make these changes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to make these changes. Okay. Now, uh, here we have many examples. How much does this motorcycle cost? I like to know how much. Mm -hmm. You see, I mm -hmm. eliminate the dust. How mm -hmm. much this motorcycle cost? I eliminate dust. I add an S to the member. Okay. But if hey. yes, esto sí lo voy a decir en español. Because I introduce my indirect question with a sentence, no with a question, I ended up with a period. La termino con punto. Punto. Con punto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, can you finish the pro? No, esto no. Can we change the meeting to Thursday? Is there any chance? This is a question. Is there any change we can change? Well, I'm going to change this so it's more appropriate, like you can see. Is there any chance we, the only thing is can goes after the subject. Is there any chance we can change the meeting to Thursday? Did you see it? The can is before the subject in direct question. Now, the can is after the subject in indirect question. Is that, that's the only thing that I have to do. Teacher, that expression, it doesn't have is. Is there any change if we can change the meeting to Thursday? If we can. Ah, yeah, is there any chance? Uh, if, yes, mm. if we can change uh, the meeting mm. to Thursday, yes. Now, I was going to explain that. Okay, now, we have two type of questions. Yes and no, direct questions. When we change to indirect question, we have to add if. For example, if. does Tom like Italian food? Okay, so indirect question. Do you know if Tom likes Italian food? And there is the if. Can you see it? Yes. Are your parents joining us for dinner? Could you tell me if your parents are joining us for dinner? Do they speak English? I was wondering if I remove the do, if they speak English. Is that clear? Now, take a look. When we have double H questions, double H questions are the ones that begin with how, where, 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 when. Wood. No, no wood. Wood is an auxiliary. That's a yes and no question. Where? Okay, so those are double H where? questions. Por qué? Yes and no question. When you answer the question, do you live in San Salvador? Yes. No. Yes. Simply. That's yes or no. That's why they call it yes and no question. When I ask, where do you live? I cannot say yes. I cannot say no. I have to give information. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Is that clear? So double H questions are uh, the ones that have the double H word. Where, how, what, when, okay? So now look, why is he unhappy? When we have double H question, we don't need the if. We don't need the if. Why is he, why is he unhappy? Can you tell me why? He is unhappy, so I switch the is to 
after the subject. After he. When is the restaurant closing? When is the restaurant closing? Can you tell me when the restaurant is closing? So I place the is after the subject. Is that clear? Okay, let's try. Okay, here. A, any expression? Can you tell me? Hello? If. 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 First thing is if. Because is a yes and no question. Uh -huh. What is you next? You live, if you live, you live with your family. You your family. Live, uh -huh, live with your, with family. your family. You see how easy this is? This is like, okay, and because we start with a question, a question mark. Now, can I borrow your lawnmower? I like to know if you can, if you can if, if, you if can I, know. because the subject is remains the I same. Can. If I like to know, I can, I can I, if I can borrow, borrow your lower mower. Mower. Do you know what well, is a lawnmower? No. Que I don't really. todo eso. Oh. Okay. La lawnmower is la cortadora de césped. Oh. Lawnmower. To mow is cortar el césped. The lawn is eh, no el césped en sí, sino que todo el patio que está con grama. El césped. ¿Y cómo sería la pregunta o, o la oración? Ajá, me gustaría saber si usted me puede prestar su podadora. Ok, Amor. ok. Y aquí dice, ¿puedo yo, presta, eh, ¿puedo yo prestar su podadora? Más cordialmente, I like to know, me gustaría saber si me puede no, prestar no, su podadora. Si me puede okay. prestar su uh -huh. Ok, now, the next one, will you tell me? Can you tell me if you speak Spanish? Will you tell me if you speak Spanish? See how easy? Will you tell me if you speak Spanish? Spanish. Speak Spanish. Bye. Okay, very good. And because we start with a question, I put a question mark. Mm -hmm. Now, one more and the rest are going to be homework. This one's. Okay, next. Let me know. Let, Let me know, know if, if, if is that, that your cat. cat. Your cat. If, that's your if that, cat. I tell sujeto, if that is your cat. Is your cat. If that is your cat. Your period. Porque me está diciendo, déjeme saber. No es una pregunta. Entonces, no, no termino con question mark. Okay, very good. The rest are homework. Uh, this one, you can use any of the introduction expressions. The one that you like, no problem, okay? Now, take a look. These are double H questions, no if. Now, how are you? Could you tell me? How you are. You see, very easy. Where do you park your car? Can you very tell easy. me? Can you tell me where you park your car? Where, uh -huh, where you where you park, park where your, your car. car? You see how easy? Ooh, this is uh, like your car. Ah, and because it's a question, question mark. Where are you, you from? Park your car, you park your car. Where are you from? Tell me where you are from. Can you tell me where you are from? Can you tell me where you are from? You are from. 
where you see this is very this, uh, uh, this uh, is uh, this is like taking a candy from a baby's mouth <laughs> <laughs> okay how old are you t-shirt 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 okay, okay. uh -huh. yes the last question could be can you tell me where are from no where no 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 from are no 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 no, no, no. Remember the verb to be? We put it after the subject. Remember? Yes. We say right here, you take is and yes. are, and you place it, and it comes after the subject. subject. Market Street is. So in this case, is you are. Where you are from. It's okay, not, it's, there isn't any other way. No hay otra oh. manera. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, this one. Okay, we are going to do three more. And the rest, homework. Okay? okay. Don't yes, worry. Okay. We check on, um, on Tuesday. Okay, how old are you? Can you tell, tell me? Okay, tell let's me. use another one. Who you are you? Do you know? Remember, let's use all the expressions. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know me? No. How do you know? You do you know? Do you know? How old you are? Uh huh. Exactly. Do you know? How old you are? You are. And because it's a question, a question mark. Okay, uh, when is your birthday? Do you, do you, do you know? Like do you know? To know when your do birthday you know? is. Uh -huh. Do you when know? Your birthday no. Is? no, porque hey, usted sabe cuándo es su cumpleaños. Sí, tiene que okay. saber. Uh -huh. I like to know. I, I like to know. I like when to your know. birthday is. When, when your birthday is. When is it? Yeah, when you see, it? Hey, you are experts. Congratulations. Teacher. When your birthday is. Is. Teacher. Period. Yes, sir. We can use. Uh, I was wondering. Yes. In that yes, sentence. Course. As a matter of fact. We are going to use that one here. I was wondering. Wondering. Because it's asking. Yeah, I was no, it's not asking. How many children? You see, that is not a question. I was wondering. Yo me preguntaba. Yo me preguntaba, no que le estoy preguntando. Mm, okay. Uh, I was wondering how many children you have. How many how children, many children you do you have? have? Have you? No. Have you? You have. You have. You have. How many children you, you have? have. You have. Yeah, period. No, it's not a question. Period. Solo le quito el do. Remember? Yes. When I have two, yes. that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Drop. Nah. Do. Uh, yeah, take it out. Take it out. Okay, so here you have more. Because of the time, I don't want to take any more of your time. Okay? Uh, here, look, take a look. In this one, it's very easy. You have two options. Which is correct? Can you tell me where the bathroom is? Or can you tell me where is the bathroom? Where, where the, the bathroom is. is. Uh -huh. so this is correct. Now, the number two, is. would you mind telling me? How long is the lunch <laughs> break? <laughs> yeah, would you mind telling me? <laughs> <laughs> how long? Uh, how long? Yes. How long? <laughs> how long? Is the lunch. No, the no, lunch. it's the, the lunch. lunch. The lunch, lunch break. The lunch break uh -huh. is. How long break the lunch break is? The lunch break. The lunch break. 
All this is the subject, the lunch break. Next, do you know if or if, that? If, 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 if. if. Uh -huh. Do you know if the manager is correct? Okay, very simple, very simple. I like very it. simple. Very easy. Very easy. Very easy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I like to know. If you want to if work, you want on, Saturday. Me to you want work me to on Saturday. work on Saturday. Very easy. Can you tell me how? Oh. The photographer works. The photocopier works. Uh -huh. Could you tell me how the photocopier works? Okay, have you any idea how this program works? This program works. This program works. works. Uh, I like to know how much lunch in the lunch casino cost. Lunch in the casino cost. 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 And the last one, I was wondering. I could if, if I could leave early, early today. today. If I could, if I could early. leave early today. Okay, guys. Now, thank you very much for your time. Okay, I know thank that you, you have to work tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now don't miss, don't miss Tuesday's class because we are going to recheck this topic and we are going to finish all these questions that you are mm -hmm. going to do as homework. Okay. 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 Do them, and if you have something that you don't understand, I'll be there. For you. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. No entendí, Thank pero you está so bien. much. Have a wonderful night. No See you. Lo último que dijo, pero está bien. <laughs> I'll be there for you. Don't worry about it. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a nice weekend, teacher. Yeah, tomorrow. have a nice weekend. See you Tuesday. Tomorrow. Okay. No. See you Tuesday okay. night. Okay. 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 Huh? See you next Tuesday. Not tomorrow. See you Tuesday night, okay? Mañana vamos a tener clase, teacher. Okay. Happy no weekend. No class on Monday. Happy weekend. Okay. How and ha okay. happy Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Long weekend. Okay. Es día de los, de, de los muertos. De los difuntos. De los difuntos. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a wonderful night. Bye. Oh, and, rest. and remember, work on the platform, please. Work on the platform. Okay? Teacher, okay. si hay clases yes. mañana, entonces. No, no classes. Until Tuesday. Ah, okay. Because okay. Monday is November the 2nd. It's a holiday. No, right. yo digo mañana. <laughs> mañana, tomorrow. No, no class. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay, nice. that's my question. Okay. It's Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. See you the next day. See you the next day. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. See you then, teacher. Okay.